Okay, let's take a look at another type of page. We're going to look at a start page. So we're going to click the add page. We'll just call it start. And I'm going to bring up a start page. And we'll go ahead and create that. Now, here you can add personal gadgets. Check out that it says gadgets in this area are only visible by you. So we're going to add some personal gadgets. One of the things that's going to be unique on that start page is that it will be visible, but unfortunately no one will see anything on there. But you can put things like counters and things like that. So you can see how many people visited your um, website, etc. I'll start with something simple. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the weather up, but I'm going to go ahead and I'll select the weather. And I stuck that in there as a personal gadget. Let me go ahead and save it. Let me go ahead and create the full size. And now that would be visible to me. But if somewhere else from my site, they wouldn't see it. So let's go ahead and add. And now check this out. Now on the start page, um, well again, my personal gadgets aren't visible while I'm editing. Um, but I still could go in there and I can still insert um, gadgets. So it's just another um, way to add some of those other features that you, if you didn't want to put them on a uh, your home page. So I'll go ahead and I'll select the simple clock. Now everyone will be able to see this. I'll go ahead and I can preview it if I want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now that'll be in there. And so when I hit save, what you're going to see on my start page, you'll see two things. This simple clock is visible by everybody. This weather one down here is just visible by me.